Hello everyone, Son of Beast here. Along with my commentators of the crew, this is where it comes down to this. The Avs and the Bruins are the final two teams in the Stanley Cup Finals. It's next, after this, of the NHL 23 on EA Sports. Hello everyone, Meatphone here, and this is another Stanley Cup Finals on EA Sports. Then right now, the lead has been picked up here for the Bruins for the start of the first game. But now, this is Game 2. As we're about to be seeing the next rematch in between the two, Avalanche may have to find another way to try to make them stop for and keep the run out of focus in the hand. They're really trying to like keep the aggressive run, but there may not be anybody else who could try to like keep it right around him to go over with the flow. And you may never notice how hard they're going to do. Well, they might keep it here for as long as they want. If the Bruins have their way down, then they will have a 2 nothing lead to start it off. Anyways, with this part of the game, it's time to find out who wins the next one. The next commentary I will have is Test 2 along with Silver Spoon, and the, and the center ice will be Son of Beast. I'll be back with the post-game show right after this. See you all later, folks, and let's get started. It's Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals at TD Garden as the Boston Bruins and the Avalanche rematch again. Hello everybody, Test 2 Pierre, along with my proud broadcasting partner of Silver Spoon, and the center ice is Son of Beast. Puck is about to be dropped off and we are underway. The courtesy of the starting lineups we have is followed. Patrice Bergeron, then it's Charlie McAvoy, then it's DeBrus right toward the center. The other side we have is Marchand, then from the back of the angle we have is Orlov. Then the starting goaltender we have is Linus Olmark. He will be starting here for tonight in Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Finals. The first one I ever, ever have to see what's going to happen in between, but Omar does that when a lot of time to take a lot of responses here for the regular season. But there is one way to make that one very paid off. They wanted to get that one clean, and they wanted to get back on ice. This is the hard one, but the tricky setup is they're going to try to keep it going it and right around it. Here's the press right toward it in a slot. He scores! That will be his first goal in the second game of the finals. Got a great start for the Bruins to pick up 1 0. There's one way that Jake DeBrus could have had that one here. He got a great look at the eye angle. The harder one to get, the more better they will have. He wins the faceoff. Here's McAvoy right now over again to DeBrus. DeBrus, whatever in the slot, McCarr takes it over to McKenna. McKinnon right toward the left. Then it's Chichushkin over to Lackard and shot. It's stopped again here by Omar. Alexander Giorgiev is a starting goaltender for the Colorado Axe. McCarr's in it. Omar with the save. 17.57 to go in the first period. Right now it's just they got a good start here for the Boston Bruins to pick up the run. Lena Swalmark has an ultimate range that has a saving ability. That's right. It's an X-ray vision. That you can put it up here with a lot of bunch of saves and put it here for every other game in the postseason. He's hard in this one, but let's see how it pays off. Here's Carlos shot. Stop again here by Alexander Georgian. Touch up right now over again, and a penalty has been called by Colorado. A start on the run here for the Avs, as this will be Naito with the first penalty in game number two, called a slash. Now you don't want to make a slash out of a move out there. If you put a slash in, that's going to be on you. We ultimately have believe we got a snipe of Pasternak that he gives it up here with the puck of a chain. He knows he makes it harder with the power play, but let's find out what he does if he makes that with an offense to pick up the run and keep it right toward the line of the new changeup. If he has a snipe, he will try to take him over to do one again. 
Here's Sacha, right toward the outside, now finds Paterzi shot, stopped by Yorgiev. He has that number save, Koyo to Zaka, and it's Yorgiev with the save. 16.48 to go in the first period, got a little start in between for Boston and Colorado. Those two are very tight, and tough one to be at last. Puck settles in as Comfer wins the faceoff. Coyle give it back to McAvoy. Comfer will have the puck, lifts it up in the air to the Bruins territory. Boston will get it across here in the offense zone, now finds Zaka. He's right toward the right wing. In front of center alone, that's blocked up by Johnson. He'll have it back, now finds Cocliana. He fires away. 40 seconds remaining in a power play for the Boston. Pashnox gives it back over to Zaka. And Zaka, on the other hand, tried to make a move to make it quick. And a save comes up here by Georgia. Now, Georgia never really wants to keep it in face of this one before. But that really turned out to be one wild save. Keep it going. His time is almost up. The Avalanche is now having full strength of a man, and now the power play is over for the Boston Bruins. Keeping an eye on the angle here, they're really doing really well. But in the range of their successful, they wanted to make that one a lot of defense, and then try to make a power of it. They really are starting to go a little rough. But this offense may not be that easy to try to get around the defenders and pull up a big power play goal that they always have. It's more what they always do, because if they don't have it right, then you're never going to catch them down. Yeah, mm hmm. Definitely what nobody would ever knows, you're going to have to try to like, keep it going. Here's like Renetta and McKinnon will have the puck in range. Now here's Marchand over and out to McAvoy. He's on his way down. Looks over to Marchand. With the shot! Stopped here by the goaltender and toes with the rebound. Colorado had the puck in the right wing of the territory. That pass broken up. McAvoy on his way down to the attacking zone. Looks around the middle. Georgiev had that one easy call with a save with only 13.42 to go. Might have to keep Ellen stretching again because it's a lot that hard to try to keep it up. Now both teams are ready to take the faceoffs in the offense zone. The win for Bergeron. Went down. Bergeron recovers it and McCarr takes it over. The offense is getting a lot that trickier, and you know the defenders are very that good. But keep in mind the fall that way, they want to get right around it and try to show them up who they go out to cover it. You're suppressed, he's on his way down to the other end. Pulls up with a shot, it's stopped here by Jurgen. Pulling it right away, they got to get that one right on a tough shot. You made it that calls for him, they got to get it easy. Shot blocked. Carlo went down, got in with the tie. Now finds Marchand right over to the left wing. Goes right around the wall. McCarr's got it now. Now finds Malkin. The Avs are now in the open zone, finding another self a huge open passes. Pass broken up. Rodriguez finding again to buy Ram. Looks toward the middle. Lindholm takes it over. In the inbounding, here's Lindholm past the coil shot. Turgiv with its save. 11.25 to go in the first period as it's still a 1-0 lead for Boston. Officials are getting set here. They're about to drop the puck. Comfer wins the draw. Iran over to Nieto. Carlo had the puck here now with a good covery. Now finds Berturzi. Confer almost lost the puck here. Turon right over now to Nieto. Rattling for the loose puck in the chain. Coyle right in the middle. Berturzi right around him finds Frederick. Over to Coyle. Lifts it up in the air and go into the ab zone. The Avalanche will have their puck in Bertur And now here's Rantanen. He's inside alone, trying to find a Nieto. Good catch by Omar. Had that one get stopped here with under a mid-period to go. Now both teams are set, ready to take the face off. It is a 1-0 lead 
in under a mid period. Now but away and he's hot! Great stop by Olimar. They're already been showing up here because Olimar really got a great handle. Not the pressure on this one. Make a great save on the stop. Nathan McKinnon has a huge angle breaking has gotten a great use of his step. When he goes to an angle breaking offense, he can try to like go right around the offender. Defenders are the game. Omar with the releasing of the X-ray vision. He keeps it up here with the team and wanting to make that one clear to get it right from here. It's a hard one, but it's not really easy to try and let the players and their teams have the advantage. I'll be watching one of them and find out what's going on in between of McKinnon and of Omar. Back to you guys. Here's Saka, right over to the left wing. Finding more room! The shot went wide. Johnson will give it off to McKinnon. McKinnon fires around the net. Lifting again, it's clipped it. Now finds Zaka. Give off to Crudgy. Crudgy in the inbounding with the firing shot. Stacked again here by Giorgia. Pass back to Former. Moves it quickly over to Clifton. Fires away! Giorgia with a huge stop. They've already been showing it because they were, look, there are a lot of open passes and open shots. They're really ranging it out again, but they don't want that one to get right through their heads because they're going to get that one a lot. Good. Tough call, but no one may never heard of what they're doing. Here's the press right toward the right wing. He goes down. Ojeron finds forward. Marchand in the corner now. Can't find an open man. Marchand back to Rodriguez. Makes a move in the slot. Stopped there by Omar. On his way down. For the one on one zone. Forward shot. Rebound. Oh, the goaltender got it right away before Marchand put it in. But almost call it a no goal. Yeah, he's in a crease already. He should never be attempting to take the steal out of it. If he's in a crease alone, he would have it back. And it will get a no goal for the referee chain. We're drawing shot. That hits off the game by the goaltender. Loose puck along the board. Toes got him this time. Passes to McCarr. Now finds O'Connor. Looks over to the left wing and now into the offline zone. Orlov has to recover. Pass back to Bergeron. Gains the zone from center. No penalty call on Colorado. McAvoy, stick clipped it. Bergeron recovers it. And there will be another one to take the puck away from them. Eller right toward the middle. Toward the slot. Puck lost it and it goes right near the wall. With the rebound. Knows it with a stop here after all Mark say. 5-0-5 five remaining in the first period of the game. It's a one nothing lead. They a huge save. They really are starting to show up again. All what they've done is that they are really that clear. Keeping it out of the line this again. But it's not very easy to try to sell it down. They are very that close call. Nobody never know how well they've done. Because that is what they do. Rebound the puck is Greer. Back to Orlock. Now finds Hathaway. With the shot. Plus saved by Giorgio. He'll have to, he'll have to rest up for the next part of a puck drop coming up later. Now the Gladiators are ready to put the puck right into the offense zone. With the win, now back to Orlov to McAvoy. Fires a canyon. That's off the defender, offender of the skate. And now finds the rod. Granted it right over into the right wing. Pass to Nieto. Way in a wiggle. Middle shot stopped by Omar. He's really good at this one, yeah. Don't get uncomfortable if you really wanted to get right into that. Because after all, they've done it so many times. McAvoy has a stick em up challenge here with the stick lift. He really has a lot of the defensive players of this set. But this one's a very tough one to try to leave it in bounding and try to go right towards him. When Zacha Kempf gives it off to McAvoy with a stick lift, he wanted to make that one clear and then stick the puck at the right timing. He is the only guy that you have to keep an eye on. Back to you all. 
Here's Pasternak's right over into the slot. And Juria will have it covered up. 2-3-1 to go in the first period. 1-0 is your score. I don't see how bumping was the roughing call. It looks like they should have get a power play for Colorado. But Comfort, I don't know what happened. It didn't really say that he was going to be leaving the game. But hopefully on that occasion, he might have to like, uh, just tell, tell the medical assistant that, he, that he's fine. Well, if something that has happened, then we might have to call the medical. That might be turning out to be JT Comfort because he was then rushed down and then went and banging from the helmet right on ice. So he's safe, he's not in pain, he'll try to like keep it going. All out in the middle, fired away and it's Hut with the rebound. Pass back to Nutrishkin over to McKinnon and now find Lekkonen. Not gonna find Nutrishkin with the shot. Rebound saved here by Allmark. Coyle right into the offense zone. In the steam run of a white wing. With the fire cannon. Jordan have saved. And now back to Johnson to Nutrishka. Just about one minute remaining in the first period. They're trying to get that one to tie it up. Loose puck along the boards. McAvoy to Frederick. Recovered is by Orla. Returzi right to the right wing. Takes it up and look. Save it again by Georgia with under 30 seconds. Deep pass that Robert gives and now finds Newhook. Look right toward the slot. That saved it off again. Frederick has the puck. With the last minute. And that will do for the first period. one nothing to start of a score for the Bruins. They're up by one. We'll be right back after this message. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to TD Garden Arena of the Stanley Cup Finals. We're about to start the second period. And off we go. Let's get started and find out who will get next one in. With a recap, I will have Silver Spoon and my broadcasting partner in the center ice is Son of Beast right in the center. Let's start with you for Silver Spoon. Your take for the Bruins. They really are showing up like they were going to be getting a lot of, a lot of points in the credit run. I've got a lot of things to say about them. They're really doing really well with the offense to try to keep it in the front of the deck out of it. They never really wanted to like keep it along with together. All they were saying enough, they were just keeping it going and then going. I really like that, that they were really getting a lot of a group attacks, and they really wanted to do this one again. They've done so many times, they really want to get this thing done. With the win, it's stopped here, and it's blocked by toes. Bergeron, McCarr back the other way, over again to Lekone. He's now on the other side of the, of the Bruins' territory. Passing to Chuskin, and a rebound to Lekone. Oh, Olmark got it right in timing. And now back the other way is Marshan. Gives it back to the press. Moves around it, and Georgian with a stop. He'll hold the puck with only 18.01 to go in the second period. On the way down to start the second period, it's a 1-0 lead for Boston Bruins. The Avalanche hasn't won any of each games since they were really calling it for the back of the last postseason as the first season. It was a template on the start chain. This reaction was very unpredictable. They never really been caught on. Well, and maybe another way that we could try to like give that one a, a world. And because of this point, they really wanted to like start keeping it up and get it done right. Jorgen will hold up with the same. And then the puck is stopped here with only 17.07 to go. Now maintaining its way for another faceoff. With the puck quick. Now moving over to Nieto. Keeps it right toward the outside of the range. Now passes to Orla. Now go over again to Zaka. McAvoy had it across to Pasternak. Pasternak still in danger out there, finding Zaka. 
for at least it's, ooh, that was off the glove, but that stopped him with a good timing. Diagonal pass over again. Zaka shot. Almost went tipped in, but it stayed out of the net. Now, this is what nobody really was saying, that because if they wanted to get the puck, he was almost right there. Almost near the goal line, but it wasn't. It was out. That was definitely a close call for them to try to like keep him up the range and do it again. Brandon, it. Can't find anybody. And now Preggy over again. Carlo has the puck here inbounding and now in the offensive zone chain. Keeps it from here. Frederick patted it out by Jorgen. And now he moves it over again. Now we're now in tour with in front. O'Connor rebounding the puck after goaltender save. Carlo has it back over to Frederick. Keeping the puck, moving in from between from the legs. Shoots one. Jorgen with the save. Patching it out with only 14, 17 to go in the second period of the chain. We haven't made the make, mid, make, 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 sorry, midway mark of the period. Still a one nothing lead for Boston. And you can tell by the last postseason, Colorado didn't really gain it up because it was knocked out too soon. It was a 6-4 win for New York Rangers for the last postseason. That was a part of in game two that they definitely did happen. They were really that close, trying to get a defended out there, but I'm hoping there might be another way they can try to like answer back with game number two. No one really has to know why is that a really big question. Well, it's because of what they did. No one has that gotten the right way. They really got to get that one pumped up. A delay penalty, and now the penalty is on Boston Bruins as power play is on for Colorado Ass. As right now, it's Charlie, Charlie, Charlie McAvoy that goes with a, with a slashing call. McCall right over now to Newbook. Gives off to Rodriguez. Flings it up right toward the wall. Carl will dish it out. All the way back to the, the goaltender net. McKinnon got it up from here with McCarr. Zaka passes it, and McCarr has it back. He almost would have got that short end goal. Would have been the tough one who could make that good call. Here's Barbecue's shot. Blocked up by Forward. Lifts it up in the air, and now back into the ab zone. McKinnon's got the puck, now finds Comfort. And now Rodriguez will have it from here. Blocked in a pass. Forgeron fires it out. McCarr has it recovered. The abs are now back on their way into the offense zone. Looks it over. Pass to Rodriguez shot. And Omar uses the pad to save it pressure inbound. Looks like that McAvoy's time is almost up. Ready to get back in. McCarr has to do good. And the penalty is an expired, no power play made for Colorado Labs. You can tell the pressure they're feeling of it. They were really trying to like keep him out. But the range and tightness really can feel like this was a very hard, tricky layup to have it all. They never really got that up there in time because they were really up for a challenge. I never seen how well they do because they were really tough going and trying to keep it out. Georgia is going to hold it with the puck of only under 11 minutes remaining. Nearing the mark of the mid-period, it is still a 1-0 lead for Boston. They're still trying to get over with a 2-0 win over Colorado. Now McAvoy's in there now. Marshan got a little bumped up here by, by Comfort. And with that one, it goes right back to Nyetta. McCarr back the other way, and the offense now finds Rantanen. McCarr, out to Rantanen. No timing is made, as he didn't get the put around in the net goal. It was jammed up. Nyetta, and he scores. They're tied up now. We never know. Nyetta, you really have an answer back. That's what you never notice. You never get the goal. You want to get right into this. That's what you have to do. When Matt Nieto has that one right around the offended player, he really had that rebound. And with Brandon, and he really has to like stick him up to himself. He really showed him up like his showing cost was real. But it was not very tough 
that when, when Nyetta was putting it right around the goaltender, it was tough for him to try to keep him in bounding. Not very really focused goal, but it was a very tough one to keep from here. I'll watch it. I'll keep an eye on Nyetta if he had that with another deflection in with a rebound, and for Branton in with another pass. After the save here by Omar, here's the juice game. Pass to Barran. Toes recovers. Good block here by the defensive player. Now Hathaway will have it here in the offense end. Looks around a man open up. Stopped it away here by Georgia. Deep pass in the center of the ice of this O'Connor. The Bruins will have their possession to take their way down to the app zone. Gerard trying to give it back to them. Cagliano right over now to Eller. The Avs are now in the offense zone. Orlock has it back over to McAvoy. He now gives it over, now over back to McAvoy to Coyle. Passes to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi trying to go for McAvoy with the lead off. Oh, the last puck is chained out. Bertuzzi kicks the puck over to Coyle. Seven minutes gone by in the second period. Looks it in. That's stopped again by the goaltender. You really got that one out there. You got a good eye. But you never know when to notice that you try to like keep it right in. You never really want to like keep it. You didn't want to get away with it. So therefore, he kept it up like he did. McAvoy right into the offense zone on his way. Pass to Frederick. Up with the shot. Coyle stops in that bounding in his punt. Taking over back to get the counter. Six minutes gone in the second period. Slug save by Omar. What a great move. That's what you always have to do. Omar, get it done right. We're more than period is coming down to the end in a second. The score is tied up. Colorado and Boston for one. Now Carlo will have his puck down. Find Zaka. 5.35 remaining in a second. Take the lead. Johnson had the puck here with the stopping from the from the edge of the blade. And Zaka gives it back to Prezi shot. Kicked it away. Zaka. Around the man. Stop again. Second time stop. Joliev sends it over to Hunt. Nayeda will have his time to like to reset his courtesy lineup. Keeps the puck over to Copper. That's pad out of here. Passing out with the puck now into the offense zone to pick up the run. In attack zone, fires away. Ken, it's been denied, but Georgiev has gotten the save. They've always really wanted to save. Georgiev never really wanted to get that caught on. But you may never notice how tough he's going to get. That's what this life is. Change up really does it all. McKinnon wins the face up and now toes over to Hunichuske. Pass to Lekrenin. Lekkonen in the middle! Stopped away by Omar. The Chushka and the Brask will have the back. The Bruins are in the attacking zone. The Brask taking the lead! Oh, Jordan beats some timing with a shot, and you will have to stop from here with only 3.45 to go. A lot of attacking, a lot of motions here for the Bruins and Avalanche. It's still a tie game. Now with the win, they resume the play. Carlo back to the press. Finds Barshan. Looks it over. Got a little tripped up already here, but no penalty been called by Colorado. And a save, save me by the goaltender. McKinnon right towards the net. Padded out of here by Omar. McKinnon right around him. With the shot. Stopped again by the defender. Nichushkin back to McKinnon. Pass the toes. Shots away. And he gets a little stop out of it to close the gap. Bergeron passes again to forward. Forward right into the right way in the slot. Keeps it over to Marchand. Stopped away. But another goaltender save. McKinnon right over in the offense zone. Toward the right. Malkin. Blocked away. Great stop here by a defensive player. Two minutes gone by in the second period. Still tied up. McCarr has it right now back to toes. Gives it off to Rodriguez. Moves around. 
passes over to McCarr. And now McKinnon will have his own way. He gets punched up nearing the blue line. And Coyle back the airway. Coyle with the shot. Stopped by Georgiev. A minute and eight to go in a second. Still tied up. They're really at focusing out there. More attentional, more speed, more accuracy, I should say. But it's a lot of that hard to try to keep the head of the game. Bring your A game with you. One minute remaining in the second period. And now Coyle will have his possession. Rodney Goose will have the puck here with the chain off. Makes it go down. Give a good stop here by a defensive player. Robert Goose stopped away. Near the face masks is saved off by Omar. Bruins are on his way. McAvoy to take the lead. And goes right toward the glass. Knows it. Trying to go for the best beater. Oh, that stayed out. Didn't get the lead up in front. That was very clear. Did have it all? But another way to be found. It's tied up. 1-1. Third period is where we come down to this. Let's find out who will take the lead. Be back after this. We are down to the final period of game number two at TD Garden Arena. Well, it is about that time. The puck is dropped and we're about to start the third period of the game. As right now with me and Silver Spoon, my broadcasting partner, right now he has a little recap here for the Colorado Ads and the Bruins that are tied. This one was a very tight one, interesting of the game, that they were really into that mode. But this really never really had caught and happened before like that. They were really tough. He scores! Oh my, it's Brad Marchand! The start! Oh, ho, ho. That one turned to be a very good call! I like it when this rebound is pretty up here. I got a good replay of here. Brad Marchand got a great goal to try to take one here. When Bertrand was giving it off to Marchand, he knew he was going to handle it off. He says, let me do this. And he has that one right ahead to make the goal. That was an excellent play to put in the inbounding of the stop. I'll be keeping an eyes on Brad Marchand. For an update, for, back to you guys. Their team is back up by one, with just only 18.20 to go in the third period. It's a 2-1 game. Now McAvoy gives it over again to the press. Now he's into it over to Orlov, and again, shot, rebound, stopped again, here by Georgiev. Toes gives off to Nichushkin. Nichushkin on his way down. And Orlov will have it back. On the inbound we have is Marchand. Marchand up. It's off again on toes. McCarr gives off the comfort. 17 12 to go in the third. And now it's Rantanen. Fires across. Pat it out of here for Olmar. Zaka right into the neutral offense zone. Pajanot shot. Jordan got a hold of that one here to keep the piece of that one and stay out. Officials are getting set here, ready to take the face off, and we're about to get back on the ice. Now Comfort wins the face off. Toad springs off to McCall. Now springs off to Rantanen. Rantanen's on his way down into the left wing. Fires it across. That's stopped again by Omar. Orlov keeps it over to Pasternak, and now McAvoy will have it over. Oh my! I think the push in is saying, why was that a usually call? I didn't really notice it. It looks like it, when he was pushing right here, JT Confer give up to Matt Naido. I didn't really expect it that this was going to really happen like that. And he was pushing right himself, and he just like said, move it out of the way, here I come, and there it is. That was the goal that does happen right now. If they would have challenged it, and they would have called it called interference, they would have called it on Avalanche at that point. While the officials are making a, making an unofficial call for the, for the interference on the Avalanche as it's already clean defense, they will have to decline it because that is clean. 
I ran. Fires the puck. Olmark is going to hold it with on the side of a net. Comfort give off to Byram. Byram toward the middle slot. Carla with the rebound and now pulling it over. The Bruins territory into Ab's territory. Zaka around it. Byram with the block shot. Zaka recovers it. Goes off target wide. Kreji. Moyen. That's saved again by Georgia. Oh, he doesn't want to give up right now. And he says, this is not what I wanted to do. I don't want to leave here. I will never quit. I, it will never be a quit. And you can't quit on the team like this. With Jersey shot, stopped again by Georgian. And now it will only be down to 14-21 in the, in the third period. If you all expecting to see the new episode, it's finally out. For the Anime Insanity Invitational. Plus, the NBA Finals will be on its way very soon. Here for Game 3 and 4 on its way run. Because this was exciting for him to enjoy his birthday moment. Yeah, pretty sure. I hope he really enjoys it. And the past birthday, hopefully, the Bruins can definitely answer with the win. Well, it may not be just enough anyway. But, you know, I never really have to worry about that. Well, you just speak up along with me. See for yourself. Lena all right to the right way. Coil shot again with the save by Georgia. Here's Hunt give up to O'Connor. 13 hours, 5 to go in a third period, and now this one's chopped out. Returzi has the puck, now give over to Frederick. Give the pack pass over to Coil. Over again to Lindholm. That shot's blocked. Lackford in right into the left wing and the right. Give the saucer pass to McKinnon. That went off again on the defender and it's the press taking the puck away and now finds Marchand. He gets bumped up in the corner and now it's Lackford in. Moves it quickly back over to McCarr and now Nichishkin will have it covered back again to Lackford in. Sways in front of the deep side. The Bruins will have their possession in the attacking zone. Fires across. Jorgen with the save. Pulling out inbounding here, and McCarr will try to recover it. Nichushkin back the arrow way over to McKinnon. Goes into bounding. Allmark save. 11.05 in the third period. Still tied up with 2-2. Two and two. Here are the coming up games. As right now, it will be on Monday as we get this thing started here at at one of the top, top place to get right into at Colorado. It's in Game 3, and Game 4 will be in Wednesday's night game. That will be Game 4 back in Mile High. The shot that goes right off the target. Comfort trying to swing it across again. Moving back over to Bergeron. McAvoy has it now in across to Met Marchand. Marchand right over again to the right side. Brandon, it's got to cover here back to Kopfer. He brushed right into the right way. Takes an inbounding and saved again. Marchand shot. Double save me by Georgia. You're never going to get that one a good call. You're going to say, I am never going to leave that one alone. That's at a hard opportunity range on a slot. What a wild run. Hang up the face mask here for Omar. Zaka gives up to Krejci. Krejci on his way down. Passes to Pasternas. Fires across. Jorgen with the save. You always really need to like settle down on this one angle because you'll never know if you're going to get that one timed right or in a perfect situation. Both teams are set, ready to take the face off in the offensive zone. Here's a win. Orla. Good stop again. And Toes gives off to Eller. Now here's Eller. Toward the middle. Hit up with a pad and a huge save of the run. O'Connor. Give it over. Zaka with the puck steal. Eller trying to like swing it across here. Orlov gives up to Pasternak. Towards the right. The slot move. Georgian save. Only under eight minutes remaining in the third. It's still tied up. Got to get ready for an air face off. 
We passed the midway mark of the period, and you can feel the energy of the crowd. It's a tie game. Now they win the draw. Looks it over. Crazy shot. Robert and Zacha. Crazy fires and stopped again here by Jorgiev. Pass the rocks. Good call on Jorgiev. And Jorgiev really would have had that one right away. Because that is a tough one to try to keep him out. And we have the call for Son of Beast. Your answer. David McKenna is really well at it, guys. I know he was very well trying to keep the offense on a struggling stride run. But it is a tough one to try to keep it clear. They were really on the focus run. They were really trying to like keep it away at him. He's doing really well for this season of the game in the finals. Here's the juice game. Clifton will have the puck here and give it off to Orlov. Boston in the attack in the zone. Lines again, Crazy! Rebound, so it's Georgia with the save with only 6.30 to go in the third period. They are still trying to like answer back. All they wanted to do, they just really gotta like show them up and then try to stop them down. Now for the win for Crazy. Forward shot! That went wide off the target. And Frederick. Pushes back by way of right over in the, in the center of the zone. Towards the right. Passes. Coyle takes the puck. Rejection with the pass. Forward to Paterzi. Now he moves a deep pass. No offside's been called. Gerard against Frederick. Battle for a puck chain loose on the board. The Bruins recover. Clifton finds Forward. Blocked away. Forward try to let, let go from the one angle to another. Berturzi can't find a man opener. Nayano right into the left wing. The offense slot to Girard. Stopped away. Nayano and Greer had that one puck taken away. Knows it right into the offense zone. They really try to like, keep to get the puck out of here. They wanted to turn it over very badly. They really wanted to show like a it's revenge. But not and always. You want to give them like this the ultimate of the of the shadow cost here for as a nightmare. Locked it up by Yomar. Just about 3.51 remaining in the third. It's still tied up. Officials are getting set, you are nice. It's still tie game. Now they win the draw. The Bruins slides clear. Parlo can't find anybody else. Comper goes right down, right toward the wall. Carlo, right on the other side, give it back over to Hathaway. Hathaway lost the puck, and Eller will have it back. Looks it over, finds Naedo, and rebound will not pick up here. They really are trying to like just close the gap on you. They don't really want to get that one anybody's way. Here's Greer. The puck is lost. And McCarr back again to Eller. Finds Cogliano. He looks to Eller. Try to give up the shot. Stopped away by Omar. Carlo on again to, on again to the air player of Cogliano. Toes, stick lifted, takes it away, half away, just made a rejection. And we do got a penalty call for the interference on Colorado. Well, there might be another way, but they're going to get that done. Marchand, and there will be a penalty, and that's going to be on Colorado with a slash. Logan O'Connor really would have to make that rejection out of it because he was really, really hard working. Can't just like fool you. I'm gonna make that one a lot harder than nobody wants to have to take over by anybody. The Avalanche had the penalty kill and now it's a Bruins power play with under 90 seconds remaining in the third. Gonna need to try to pick something else here and then try to get in the run. Hunt clears out. Moves back to McDay Mc McAvoy. Coyle went into the wing. To the left slot, 
fires away, he scores! That's Charlie Coyle, a power play goal for the Bruins. Now this is why Charlie Coyle was really up to a challenge. He says, this is what the challenge does. I think I am all on ice to have the contact here on the goaltender. He really could try to see it. But when he does something that different, is make a move around the puck and then go right for the angle. He went right toward the back and then had that goal right towards the abounding, right from the side of the net and up right towards the upper slot. This is the great key to have that one succeed at all to take it in. He scores! David Kredge! That's nine goals in the game. That puts him up an extension 4-2 over the Colorado Avalanche. David Kredge! I never see how well you do because this was a tough one that you've always made it. Bruins extend the tune-up to and it's a 4-2 game in Game 2. Look at this. The crowd is on their feet. And the Wild of the Bruins are going to make a 2-win game and home against the Colorado Avalanche. Well, mile high. I think they might have a problem right there because they might be just showing it up like they never do. Yeah, on his way down is McKinnon. Manning manages on. Nechushkin lost the fight. Blackwood and shot is to fleck it off. Granted it into the rough wing. McKinnon trying to figure it over to Hunt. Fires away. Hit off the stick and it's broken up. Granted and shot. Stopped again. And that will do. The Bruins made two wins in game one and two of the finals. They're nothing but you always at the go for because Olmuk and the team got a great victory win and will have to take their break and make their way to mile high. Well, good night so far and good night to saluting the teams here. We've been excellent. We've always stand the truth. And that will do it. Test two, along with Silver Spoon and Son of Feast. This has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Finals on EA Sports. Thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you again for the next part of the game on the other side. Take care everyone. Alright Test Two, thank you very much. And the uh, Bruins done it again. 2-0 is a winning series, leading series in the game. Here's how they did. Third star, Charlie McAvoy with two hits and five assists. Two assists and five hits. And Georgia with 61 saves in the game. And finally, the first star. This goes to Linus Allmark. 38 saves, 0.950% of, of his saving ability. The total shot combination and his total st statistic games are on the side. That will be 65 up to over 40 for Colorado and Boston. 20 over 15 hits for Boston. Then it was 643 over 607 for Boston on a timeout attack. They also had a 94 percentage of his passing, over 91 percentage. 24 face up wins for Boston over Colorado. They've done lots of them. Then the penalty kill was 4 minutes for Colorado and 2 minute power play for Colorado. Nothing for the power play goal. But the Bruins did have the answer. 226 in the power play minute, along with the one goal on power play and two minute penalty kill. So that wraps it up for the Stanley Cup Finals. And stay tuned, the next game will happen back again here for tomorrow night. That will be the Celtics and the Nuggets. Back at TD Garden Arena, while their team is at mile high, they will be playing at Colorado to face against the Avalanche. That's the part of my next game on Monday night. So keep your eyes steady and we will be seeing how this goes. Well, I'm out of here. Peace out folks for a while as the NHL 23 of the Stanley Cup Finals on EA Sports style. You can follow him on his social media, Instagram, TikTok, and Discord is underway soon. Hopefully you don't have to be worried about it too much.
But in that case, I'm out. Peace out, everyone, for a while. As I just said before, Stanley Cup final style on EA Sports. See you folks next time. Have a great night in Boston and the mile high of the city of Colorado of Denver. Until again. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.